Hello inventors, welcome back to my channel. This is day 35 of MIT App Inventor series. So in this video, we will learn how we can use the text message component in MIT App Inventor. So here we go. So click on starting project and my project name is day 35 app and okay. Using this component, you can receive the message in your app. Sometimes we delete some messages, okay? So you can still receive the message in your app. So how we can do this, it's really very easy. So first of all, let's go to the in the social, okay? And using this, you can just drag and drop this text message like this. Now, if you want to send message to someone, okay? So you need to use your one button. It's simple, one text box like this, okay? Now, with is like 80% something, okay? Here. And height I will make this is like 30% like this and the button is like send button so once you click on the send button this message will automatically go on to that number and which number so it's really very easy so i need to put the number or you can use the contact picker also so i'm going to use here text one more text box for the putting the number so i'll just make this with this 80 percent like this okay and this is for the number phone number and this one is text for for message okay so so what is the use of this because we are we can do from that normal app also so what is the use of this component in mit app inventor so it's really important so how so let's go to the block button as you can see here once i click on that button okay once i click on that button here so i can call the text message okay i can call the send message send direct message or send message so once i click on send message direct so this will automatically send my message directly to that person okay now let's do one more thing here let me show you wh why we are using this so i have to set this first send message before sending this before sending this i need to set message to the text box two okay so text box one text box two this text box two dot text okay this one this one is here like here and the same thing we need to do is like just copy and paste this and like this and texting one okay and the text box message this is the message and this should be the number and this should be the message the one like this it's simple now we can send the message now one thing here if you want to send that message after five minutes or after two minutes so how you can do this so it's really very easy using this component okay you can't do this with from your normal text app so how we can do this so we are going to use here one timer so let's go to the timer so we already have learned about timer right so go to the sensor and as you can see the clock here cool now what do we need to do here it's like one second is fine now we need to set the timer so how we can set the timer so it's really easy go to the blog go to the design here first i'll just set here user interface one is one more text box something here and is like one more button or site like it's okay fine now let's go to the blog okay and go to the design make sure uh, make sure this clock button should be uh, not always fire okay just uncheck this okay this should be fire only once okay now let's go to the block here and once we people click on this so click on clock this one okay when the timer so suppose we have set the timer of five minutes so then this will fire okay so then after five minutes i will send that text message but how can i enable this to enable this we need to add on button click we need to enable the clock okay so let's go to the clock click on clock method this one here and this should be true like this okay so once you click on this timer will enable and i have to set my timer instead of 1000 to 5000 this is the 5000 it means once i click on the button one okay this message will not send after the five second this message will send okay now how can i customize this okay how can i set that so it's really simple so that as you can see here that's the text box i have added so go to the block so whatever the time i will put okay whatever time i will put i will set that clock click on clock and as you can see the interval this one okay so once i click on this so i'll just set that interval 
value should be maths go to the maths here and let's go here and this should be sorry sorry this should be a text 3 value okay text 3 this value so if suppose if i put the 5000 it means uh, this will automatically send after 5 seconds or 1000 for 2 seconds so that's really amazing and simple app but really very very useful and for related hacking okay so what is the hacking and how can i hack the someone else phone someone else otp using this i think i should not tell you uh, like this right now uh, this is not going to work uh, we'll learn it about in another video okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask my comment have a nice day be safe bye bye